Thank you, Gloria, for that. Now, has the Kenya Kwanzaa administration decided as a matter of policy to defy all court orders that stops implementation of their policies or programs? Well, it seems this is the case, going by the government spokesman Isaac Maura's vow to go ahead with the payment of school fees through the government portal eCitizen. Just yesterday, President William Ruto, while in Japan, said the plan will go ahead in a bid to eliminate corruption. And as our senior political affairs reporter Chris Dairu reports, the payment of the fee via eCitizen is bound to escalate the war between the executive and judiciary. The supremacy wars between the executive and the judiciary seems to be escalating each passing day with each side flexing their muscles despite status meeting that was meant to cease fire. With the latest salvo from the courts being the suspension of the directive to pay school fees through the e-citizen platform, the president has stuck to his guns that is not budging. And that is why I don't mind, you know. People call me names. But you see, when you are doing the right thing, your conscience is clear that you are doing the right thing. And I will do the right thing for our country, irrespective of what names people call me, including Zagaya. <laughs> I stand that the Kenya Kwanzaa government is following to the letter. Watu lazima walipe kupitia e-citizen. Na wale makatel ambao wanakimbia, wanakwenda kutini kupata order. Hatutachoka. Kwa sababu tukisha kuwa na single treasury account, moja hivi. Na pia watu walipe kupitia mfumo wa 222, serikali itajua ni pesa ngapi zinaingia kila siku. This is the same fate that is still haunting the housing project after the High Court ruled that the 1.5% deductions from the salaried employees was unconstitutional. The president has however vowed to continue with the affordable housing project but not stating how the program will be funded in the absence of housing levy. I have committed myself to do is that we must then provide a guarantee that every Kenyan who pays for whatever service or pays whatever tax, that money should not be stolen by anybody. According to Nakuru-based Dr. Magere Gigeni, who is the man behind the petition against the e-citizen platform, as much as the government means well for its citizens, the constitution must be followed. The any policy which you make, the first and the f most important, even if it's very good, mm. just involve the people. Mm. That's the most important aspect. Involve the people. If you have a good idea, well and good. Just involve the people. That's what the, the it's not my my own liking. It's the constitution. If you take Article 10, as read with also Article 232. The president has maintained that there are some judges and magistrates who are out there to frustrate government projects, maintaining that they will not give them an opportunity to frustrate the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto. We are insisting because we realize that there are illegal levies charged by boards of management of schools that go into accounts that nobody knows. Among the policies and projects that are facing court battles include the housing levy, the National Social Insurance Fund, the payment of school fees through e-citizen, <laughs> and the deployment of police officers to Haiti, which was stopped by the courts. Chris Dairu, KTN News, Nairobi. To education matters, over 800,000 candidates who sat last year's K-12 